Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got the first version of the PlayStation 4. I bought this one from a friend and I've been using it uh, now for a couple months. But it's now time to tackle two or three things in this machine. As you can see, starting from the controller, it looks in good shape uh, with only a good cleaner needed. No major marks or dents. As for the console itself, the worst part is the top glossy cover that is full of scratches. Uh, the rest of the console has some slight marks here and there, but nothing too serious. However, the disk drive stopped working. The CD games get stuck on the drive entry and didn't go any further. By my knowledge, this is a common fault that I hope I can fix it. So, as always, sit down, relax and join me in this adventure to see what plans we have to repair, upgrade and of course customize this console. Stick around. First things first, let's complete the disassembled console to get access to all the parts. Let's go! Nice touch here on the hard disk bolt, really cool. Well, the inside of this thing is a completely different world. So much dirt and stuff inside.
looks like uh, we have found the missing link probably for the problem with the disk drive. I think this could be the cause of the stuck in disks. We'll see it later. Now we have all the parts from the console disassembled, we can now do the same to the controller. Let me say, this is a tough controller to disassemble, really tough.
all the parts disassembled, we can now start the cleaning process. First, we're gonna wash all the plastic parts that we're gonna give a special treatment. Color. Of course, we need some color. And this, this will be special. With all the parts now ready for some paint, today we're gonna use blue for the base color and white and gold for the special effects. Let's spray it and see how it looks. This is the base coat already applied and already looking good. And this is a special effects already applied too. Small drops of gold, white and blue. I think it looks really cool. Now, while the paint is drying, we can start cleaning the rest of the components from the controller and of course from the console. Let's go!
For the disk drive, beside the clean, I also gonna try to repair it. As you can see, I find this white roll laying around and I think it connects the two rubber rolls on the disk entry. So I put it in its place and now I hope it's working. This is all the parts cleaned and ready to be reassembled again. The paint is now completely dry and as you can see the result is way cooler than I expect. The effect is super cool. For the glossy top case, I asked a friend that is a car detailer and he gave it a good polish and it now looks really good once again. With all that done, we can now reassemble all the parts. First, the controller. In this project the customization won't stop on the cool paint. I gonna install some RGB LED strips on the interior and for that I gonna need to get 5 bolts out of some point as I don't wanna use an external power supply. For that I will solder 2 wires on the positive and negative pins in the USB and I think that will work. With that done we can start to reassemble of the console. Now, as you can see, the LED strips is already glued all around the internal chassis with the power connection in front for easy access.
for the hard disk I also gonna upgrade it and instead of 500 GB original I will put in one terabyte hard disk. And we're done. This is it. A PlayStation 4 completely customized, upgraded and I hope also repaired. it. I also 3D print 4 standings to improve the cooling and give it a different look. The result is simply amazing. This color effect is really really cool and much better than I was expecting. Really nice. So now let's turn it on and see the RGB mode and how it looks. Nothing too fancy but simple. As for the disk drive, as you can see, I can now insert and also eject these games without any problem. I will not take too much time playing here on the video because it is already long enough and it's still a very used console and have gameplays all around the YouTube. So, as always, I hope you like this video. If you want to see more, please consider subscribe, leave a like, comment and also share this video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.